Geometric sequences in series deal with multiplication. So arithmetic is addition, geometric is multiplication. In a geometric sequence, the terms are related by multiplying by a common factor or common ratio. In this example, we have 1 16th, 1 4th, 1, 4, 16. I see that to get from one term to the next, I'm always multiplying by 1 4th. This becomes my common ratio R. And that common ratio is the ratio between two subsequent terms. I then do have an explicit formula for a geometric sequence. So in general, if I realize I'm dealing with a constant ratio, that I'm constantly multiplying by some factor to get from one term to the next, then my nth term formula is a sub n equals a sub 1, the first term, times the common ratio, raised to the n minus 1. And that's because I'm doing constant multiplication. We represent that with exponents. So repeated multiplication we represent with exponents. This brings us to example 6, our last example for section 1. For each of these sequences, you're given the first five term, or first couple terms. They are geometric sequences. Let's go ahead and figure out the nth term formulas. Okay, in this first one, we see that we get to, from one term to the next, we're multiplying by one third. Also, the first term is one third. So here, the nth term formula is one third times one third to the n minus one, which you can also write as just one third to the n. Just as we saw with our arithmetic sequences, we can use a recursive formula. In which case, we recognize that the first term is a, is a sub one equals one third. That each term afterwards, we take the previous term and multiply by one third. And that this only works for n greater than or equal to two. And that's our answer for example A. Let's look at example B. Here, to get from one term to the next, we are multiplying by a common, ra common ratio of negative two. Our first term is three. So for our explicit formula, we get a sub n equals three times negative two to the n minus one. And for our recursive, We get a sub n is the previous term multiplied by 2. This only works for the second term and above, and we know that the first term is 3. And lastly, we have example C. On this one, we recognize that, and it might help to rewrite 5 as 5 over 1. If you get something that has a bunch of fractions, it's usually easier to deal with the numerator and denominator separately. In this one, we recognize that the numerator is constantly multiplied by 2, and the denominator is constantly multiplied by 7. This means we have a common ratio of 2 sevenths, where the first term is 5. This gives us an explicit formula of 2 sevenths times, nope, I reversed those your first term, 5, times the common ratio, 2 sevenths to the n minus 1. We also can get a recursive formula, recognizing our first term is 5, that each subsequent term is the first term multiplied by 2 sevenths, and that this is for n greater than or equal to 2.